Today we are going to uncover one of the biggest mysteries of this world. Oh my gosh, like is Jesus real or something like that? No, something even better. Is Long John Silvers as bad as everyone makes it out to be? Whoa! I've actually been wondering that for a while because everyone's grossed out by it. I wasn't 100% sure if everyone on the face of the earth thought something was up with Long John Silvers, but yeah. it turns out most people do because I went on YouTube and just searched Long John Silvers. And the first video is the decline of Long John Silvers, <laughs> dot, 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 what happened? And then the next video is, what is going on with Long John Silvers? <laughs> there is so much bad energy around <laughs> Long John Silvers. Cause I feel like it is one of those places where, ugh. like you just look at it and you just go, ugh. Cause you're like fast food in a drive through like, oh, fast food fish. Yeah, oh, I mean, <laughs> fast food fish in a drive through seems a little off. We used to go all the time growing up because we grew up Catholic and on Fridays you can't eat meat so we can go and get fast food. That's so funny. That was the sacrifice, eating fast food, <laughs> seafood. Fried fish. It's like, wow, we're really sacrificing. I remember we would go often growing up. I remember being excited on the drive there. Like everyone was like, oh my God, hush puppies, this whole <laughs> thing. Is it just a ball of dry bread? Bread thrown in a flyer. If I'm a little right. bit of fish juice sprinkled. Our dad always talks about Long John Silvers, but he never goes. But he always does say like, I love Long John Silvers. So that should be noted. <gasps> In July 2013, a nutrition and health policy watchdog group. I don't even really know what that means. Watchdog group? They just are people that judge at fast food restaurants, I guess. Oh my God, I'm gonna join. Named Long John Silver's Big Catch Mail, the worst mail in America, noting that it contains 33 grams of trans fats, and there's like all this stuff that is um, bad for you. I honestly thought people didn't care about health when you're eating out fast food. Like I, I never yeah. like go to Taco Bell like, actually thinking this is gonna make me live longer. I know. Like, oh, I'll just be on my deathbed a day sooner than if I wouldn't have eaten. <laughs> but I would actually respect Long Gun Silvers more if they just were like, yeah, it's unhealthy. It's like, wait, you were surprised by that? We aren't planning on ordering from this Long John Silvers. We just wanted to absorb it because it looks like one of the original Long John Silvers. Like it looks like they haven't updated shit. It very much has the pirate ship theme and I actually didn't go inside but Jacob did. I feel like on my YouTube channel there's so many clips of me in a bathroom but here's another one. Yeah it's on the pirate ship theme. I would have filmed more. There wasn't that much room to film and the workers were being really funny and nice to me but I just didn't want to say like can I film in here? Probably hasn't been renovated in like a decade or more. It was fine. Dandy if I say so myself. Now we're pulling up to the second Long John Silvers which is connected to a KFC because according to my research, one of their big plans was connecting these Long John Silvers to A&W's, KFC's, Taco Bell's because they thought it would increase sales and have more people come. Since this one is more updated and modern, we thought it maybe would be like more clean or something, even though they're probably both clean at the end of the day. We just, we're like, oh, let's eat the new one, you know? <gasps> We're back at the pirate ship, Long John Silvers. As I said in that voiceover, we ordered stuff from the first Long John Silvers, but it turns out when it's connected to another fast food chain, they don't have everything. So we yeah. ended up going back to this one and ordering a bunch of more shit. Yeah, I mean, it was a fiasco, but I'm glad it happened. It was a blessing in disguise because the first location didn't have cocktail sauce, but I'm pretty sure the second one did. Shit. Something I have to point out is that I do love how there's silo bins in the background of this video because it really adds an aura to this video that fully completes the idea. This is the most iconic item, I would say. And it has a bunch of crumby, what do, what do oh, they call them again? Crispers. I was on their menu earlier today and I saw that you could just order crumbs, but we got crumbs for free. It's good. And I love dipping my fish in tartar sauce, so of course. Why are my hands already greasy and we haven't eaten anything No, everything yet? is covered in grease. How was that? Ew. I'm joking. Oh. oh wait, this is chicken. Oh, damn guys, it's chicken. It looks exactly like a fish stick though. It's actually really good. Okay, I was thinking the same thing. It tastes like so like perfectly cooked. <laughs> they aren't even known for their chicken, but how is it actually good? 
And I do love how it looks like fish. <laughs> Isn't it kind of like a plank on yourself? Like, it makes you think that you're insane for a mm. little moment there. I'm surprised. <laughs> five out of five? I think I'm going to go to five <laughs> out of five. This is the actual fish. Okay, yeah, this does look like more of a shape of the shape of a fish stick. Like, it's not um, a strip form. I do love how we start off the video by getting pranked by Long John Silver. The big pirate man, you know? Ah, I pranked you guys. <laughs> Sorry if that was offensive to any pirates. I don't think it is, but if it is, please inform me. You know what? I, I hope you're having a good day today. Oh, and it also comes with little chips. According to the website, how this fish is um, sustainably caught. So I'm pretty sure that means like they out in like cages their whole life. But I mean, that's what the website says. I don't know the technicalities of it. Oh, it smells like good old fish. I do have to say when we got this food, it smelled like actual um, like piss or something. But the car stunk. We're literally eating. I mean, it's, let's just eat it. See what it's like. I like uh. it. <laughs> it doesn't taste that different from the chicken. I get a cinnamon flavor in my mouth after I eat it. I'm not getting it. Does it gross me out though? Someone had cinnamon on their hands or something? It's very oily, which is to be expected. Oh my god! I'm like, I just got a taste of like something sweet. Yeah, I after you eat it, there's a little bit of taste of like cinnamon. I I repeated myself, but that's all I can describe it as. I don't know what I would give it. Maybe like. Since it's supposed to be the main item. I'm gonna say like a two out of five. I was gonna say three out of five, but we can settle with a two. Two out of five? <laughs> because that, that's supposed to be the it girl. I know, like, this is what you come for Long John Silver's for. Like, it's the most simple thing. This is what you came for. The last thing we got from the location that's connected to a KFC. We only got three things from them? I Yeah, I guess so. Oh, they put two in one thing. Shrimp and clams. <laughs> I was honestly thinking they'd be like actual clams. No, that's it's what like, I thought. Mom actually used to make these like deep fat fried type stuff. Do they just come out of a can? Probably. Will you get the something. cocktail sauce for the shrimp? Oh yeah, let me get that. Oh my god, it's not even like pre-packaged. I know. I guess like it's like made in someone's basement or something. I made that up. Oh. I love that smell. Oh yeah, that smell kind of grosses me out a little bit. I know it's like gross but good, you know. That's that's a lot of things in life though, gross mm. but good. Should sure. we start with the shrimp then? Smells good. <laughs> Somebody's sniffing it before. It gives the vibe of like, this is going to be disgusting, <laughs> most likely. I don't think really good. I thought it was going to be popcorn shrimp, but this is like full on shrimp. I have to go have one more. You have to dig it in the cocktail. Oh, it kind of goes to me out a little bit. I mean, I don't really have much to say because like, I feel like you can't mess up shrimp just because it's always like the same, if that makes sense. Like, like you know with fish, those like bad fish, I feel like there's not mm. such thing as bad shrimp. That's always good. I would say four out of five. Maybe three out of five. Should we settle on four out of five? Yeah. <laughs> now let's go to like the These clams. are the funniest. It, it looks like um calamari. That's oh, what it is looks that like. kind of what it is? I don't know. No, calamari is octopus. Doesn't it taste a little bit like sweet potato? Is it just sweet potato? I don't like it. I just don't like that taste. I haven't had a clam in so long. You know what I mean? That's like an interesting taste. I didn't taste sweet potato. I do have to admit though, that it does kind of just taste like you're eating fried bread. I know, but like with, with a, a weird, little like, bit of like fish oil in it. I don't even know. Fish seasonings. That's coming a one out of five, right? Yeah, I, I hated the clams. <laughs> but I don't even know if I like clams in real life. So take that with a grain of salt. This is real life. But like, I don't eat clams in my day to day life. Ugh. Okay, now we're on to the actual Long John Silver's. I'm done with the connected one. Let's... It's dripping. It's dripping, Mama. Mama, quit dripping, please. Damn, they loaded it. Simply Salmon. It's called Simply Salmon? It's just, that's what it is. It's just Simply Grilled Salmon. This is when you want to be healthy at the Long John Silver's. So usually this comes with, like, rice or something, but we thought it would be so wasteful to get, like, all these meals, so, uh... We just got shrimp. Salmon. Oh, salmon, I mean. This looks exactly like salmon um, you'd bake at home. I mean, I guess what are you expecting? A spork. No, that's cute. You want to take a bite first? No, nah, I'm just going to watch you eat it. Then I'll take my bite. Even before you ate it, I was kind of thinking, like, from the way it looks, it can't be bad. Like, it's just going to be fine. 
It's not as good as from a good restaurant, obviously. Like, it'd be like going to... I don't even know where. Like, Applebee's and getting salmon? Applebee's salmon. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Applebee's salmon. That's what it is. Applebee's salmon. That's what it is. Do I love it? No. Do I like it? Kinda. Very boring. But yeah, again, we so didn't get any of the rice or anything. When you look at the top, it has, like, seasoning on it, but you can't really, like, taste it that much. Mm -mm. Maybe, like... Two or three out of five. I'm kind of arguing with those numbers. I would say three for effort of making a healthy item, you know? And also trying something different. Because like I said earlier, they had like controversies with being so unhealthy. So yeah. they're trying to beat it. Who The CEO, whoever d idea this was, and like, yeah, four out of five. Four, four. What did we say? Three out of five? Three out of five. Three out of five. Because also it's funny because like, it's funny how they can... They use the effort to make these when they know nobody will order them, you know? Like, nobody comes to Long Distillers for healthy. Well, we probably want the, the popcorn person shrimp. to order this, I bet. Yeah, but they still are committed to, like, have a few frozen in each freezer at each location. And it's sweet of them. It makes me attracted to whoever made this item. Yeah. We have this thing in a pack, in a bag. Nothing what else is it? in a bag. <gasps> is it the coconut shrimp? <laughs> Fish tacos. We got the classic ones. They had so many though. I'm actually genuinely excited for these. I am a. I never had fish tacos, but in a dream world, I'd have them every day. I whenever I have had fish tacos though, it's always so good. <gasps> okay. So um, I mean, it looks like they have sauce all over that bitch. Oh, but it's sauced up sauce. This smell is why I get fish tacos. You smell like the like. I don't know, like, I love tropical vibes. <laughs> this is why I get fish tacos and we're eating at, like, the most low-grade seafood place. But something about fish mixed with coleslaw smell smells so... It just, like, it brings back such good memories for me. Okay, let's just dig in. I love it. The lime. They're, like, doing shit, guys. I feel like I'm at, like, Cabo, poolside at an all-inclusive resort. This just showed up at the lawn chair. Do you believe in love after love? This is actually really good. Holy shit. For me at least, I feel like I have to um let my guard down with Long John Silver's. Just because I see all this hate and it's in my brain, like people saying it's disgusting, it's mm -hmm. so gross, and I just have to let my guard down and trust my son taste buds, you know? <laughs> Thanks for including that, guys. It was also kind of spicy too. Which, mm. I mean, is nice. Maybe I like the seasonings are like hiding it, but it doesn't taste like the um fish that is just on its own, like the fish, fish um fish and chips. Fish. But I'm pretty sure it's the same. I know. I mean, it, it it'd have to be the same. Why would they have different ones, right? Mm -hmm. But mixed with like, what is this sauce? The orange that's always in fish tacos. Some uh, like orange. Crema. I, the reason why I said crema is I'm pretty sure I went to my menu and said like with a crema. I've, I always what see crema? avocado crema. Yeah. Isn't it just avocado cream basically? But like what language is that? Like Italian or something? Yeah, I actually have no idea. Italian. Mm. It literally just means cream in Italian. But that goes into the same idea of I swear there was a ward. All these places start using it. Restaurants, fast food places. One of the wards is artesian. A couple years back, that was everywhere. McDonald's, Applebee's, like, even at these fancy restaurants. It's a, it's artesian. And now it's crema. Mm -hmm. That's the new word to make people think that you're fancy and rich. I, Remember I, when um, avocado became cool? Yeah, it was, it was at Subway. And, and, um, yeah. It had such a moment. It still is cool, I think. But just by thinking about the beginning of it. When it was at its peak of, like, mm. coolness. Big Avocado did that. Congratulations. So for the fish taco, I liked it. I, I just don't know if I want to give it a 5 out of 10, though. That's my issue. For me, it's so good. Like, didn't we give the fucking chicken a 5 out of 5? We have, This has to be a 5 out of 5, too. Wait, we give the chicken a... Oh, we did. Yeah, this has to be a 5 out of 5. This is, like, this is way better than the chicken. 5 out of 5, then. I put my foot down. Yeah, I was about to be a hater, but then you said it's all about love. And I yeah. chose love instead of hate. Thank you. What do we got? Crab cake and coconut shrimp. Okay. Is coconut shrimp a thing? Because I didn't know it was a thing if it is a thing. Mm-mm. Like, have I you ever it's... heard of it? I don't think. I don't think so. I mean, I love coconut anyway, so. I think back in when I was a kid, like, they just had regular popcorn shrimp. Now it's... Coconut crusted. I gotta get my cocktail sauce back out. 
I think I'm just gonna do plain. Let me guess, it's amazing. Wait, that's the weirdest shit ever. Is it bad? No, it's not. I mean, it, I guess it depends. Oh. Oh, no. I actually hate it. I don't really like coconut that much, though. It's sweet ship, is what I can describe it as. I hate it. Hate is a strong word. I don't know what I was expecting with the coconut crust, but I don't know if it'd be, I don't know if it'd be that strong. Out of salt and layer, you don't even know... You can't even taste the shrimp because all you can taste is the coconut. For me, it's a zero out of five. I mean, I just wouldn't ever order it, but I don't hate it. Like, it's not like, ew, this is disgusting. But for you, is it like, ew, it's disgusting? That actually was exactly what I thought when I went in my mouth. I thought, ew, this is disgusting. I feel like we have to give it a one out of five because I mm -hmm. did, I didn't enjoy, but I would eat it. <gasps> for the coconut girlies out there, maybe you'll like it. What is it? Crab cake. Okay, so this is like supposed to be creamy, right? Or something? I, don't, I haven't had one in so long. It smells like crab. Okay. It definitely rings a bell. It reminds me of red lobster rolls. Ugh. I think I actually have a vivid memory of going to fish fries back when we our family was Catholic, and like not liking these. I still like the crab, but I do like crab in other situations. Doesn't make sense. For me, like yes, you could say it's good, but. I'm just not feeling it because it's like too um, appetizer-ish for me. Yeah. It reminds me so much of an appetizer and yes, I like appetizers, but like basically it just is like too dense. Is that what a lobster roll tastes like? I've never had one, but I Neither. do want to have a lobster roll. That's what I want to have a lobster roll, but is it just going to taste like that? You need to try it to find out. Let me know in the comments below. None of them have tried a lobster roll either. Oh yeah. Do you think any of them have? No, because we're all the exact same. This That's is a true. cult. So like one out of five, I guess? One out of five. It's shitty. Ah! This is the last item. This is the last hot dog box. Which like, uh. I don't know if they're going to shove multiple things in here, you know? <laughs> oh! Basic ass french fries. They might have forgot the hush puppies. Wait, that's the last one? Yeah. Let me see. Shut up. Yeah, they forgot hush puppies. I guess just see what these fries are like. <laughs> I mean, obviously, that's what we're doing. I actually really like them. They actually are really good, but um, the thing about this place is that everything is another level of greasy. It's not yeah. McDonald's greasy. It's another level of oily. This is like restaurant fries. So you get with like a chicken sandwich or something. Except they'd be way more crispy. These are like so soggy. Mm, you look at that sog. These would be the perfect fries for cheese fries. That's mm. what I can say. Oh my God. Soggy fries are the best for cheese fries. Whereas crispy mm. fries, like... Don't really fit it as much. Are you trying to like make the audience like attracted to you or something? Mm hmm. Nice job. <gasps> there also is a little crisp on there. Wait, a nice. mystery? Nice. Try a mystery crisper. I'm not gonna eat it, but that's nice that they did that, you know? To me, those are a five out of five. Maybe a four out of five. What are you leaning towards? Like four out of five? I'm going yeah. four out of five. They're not five out of five. Like, like you said, they are kind of like... You know, Soggy. A little bit too wet, some would say. But that along with the fish. Perfect fish and chips. <laughs> so should we get dessert through the drive through I kind of want something sweet. Might as well. What are you at, Long John Silver's? Yeah, why not? And I'm going to have to get the hush puppies, or should I not? Might as well order the hush puppies. Yeah, because I, I have to know if they were as gross as I remember. Hello, can I get a chocolate cream pie? And then also strawberry swirl cheesecake? And then just um the smallest order of hush puppies. I love going through the drive through a second time. Like she can probably hear your voice. Uh, it's them again. And I said they they weren't done. I knew they weren't. There wasn't enough food. I could just tell. So this is our second. So yeah, we got the desserts and we got hush puppies. Let's see what's on. Cause they forgot them in the first order. No, oh, they actually do smell good. I think I might like these in my old age. Wait, is there fish in these? Or like some type so. of seafood, I mean. like an onion. A, a onion bow. Mm, I still don't get the hype. It's good though. It isn't dry. That's the thing, it's like actually good. But I just, for some reason, something about it I don't like. I don't know what though. You know like something is too much of the same or something? It just reminds me of a dinner roll, but to taken to the next level. Mmm, yeah. Mmm, mmm, yeah, yeah. Mmm, mmm, yeah, yeah, mmm, mmm, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I do like the name, too, Hush Puppies. I wouldn't be like, oh my gosh, I want a Hush Puppy. Like, two out of five? Mmm. 
Yeah, two out of five. They they all good. Like they they aren't like horrible. It could be three out of five for the name. Hot puppies. Three out of five. Yeah, three out of five because the name is pretty cool. No. Oh, time for dessert. <laughs> no day. Pre-packaged. I am so glad that they're pre-packaged. I love stuff that's pre-packaged. Wait, do they brought these from Walmart? Basically. I just like how it's pre-packaged because like, then I just know like, oh, like it was just literally in a bag and they gave it to us. <laughs> Wait, can you buy, can you, can you think you can buy this brand at the store? Or is it like a special one? I feel like it's a little bit special. Like you have to go to like France to get it. I love how it's pre-packaged. I already said that 50 times, but that just adds so much to I the know. whole idea. Like they could have gone through the effort of like undoing it for us, but they didn't. Uh, nope. If you want to get a dessert here, you could pop it into your freezer and eat it weeks later. You don't have to eat it that night if you don't want, you know? I know. They, they always think about us at these types of places. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> School cafeteria cheesecake. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. <sighs> yeah, I actually love it. I mean, it's five out of five, like, yes. Mm hmm Dig it in. Rock my world. It actually does feel like I'm eating strawberry shortcake in the weirdest way. Like, I know, I, I feel like a little, cute little strawberry shortcake. I know, it feels like I'm like in a whole little land where like mm -hmm. strawberry trees are strawberries, mm -hmm. and I'm just like. <sighs> no, no, and you kind of want out. But you don't want out at the same time, but you do want out. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm not 100% sure on this, but I'm pretty sure Burger King had the same exact dessert like a few years ago. In the container? Yeah, the same exact one. This is a Hoshi's, yeah, chocolate cream pie. I already showed it, but. Do you know how like um, YouTubers buy like auctions of like stuff at Nordstrom that didn't sell? Do you think Long Gun Silver's bought the auction of these that didn't sell from Burger King? Oh, so they were like, oh, it's so much cheaper since they didn't want no, it. Oh, like kind of overdue, but it's fine. <laughs> Let's see, is it overdue date? I well, mean, they, they, they it's it for sure not overdue because like, <laughs> they imagine? go to prison, but... I'm excited for this Hershey's. Okay, I'm not even showing you guys. Like, that looks beautiful. I know, you know they were mad, too. I want to see This is like a moose thing. And this is always the best. Mm. Do you taste anything? I don't taste anything. <laughs> Wait. Let me try it one more time. What do you think about whipped cream doesn't really have a taste? I taste chocolate, kind of. I smell it. I love it though, but like, now that you're talking about taste, it's like, do I taste anything? With me, like, it's kind of, all it tastes like is sugar. Like, there needs to be more chocolate or something. I just like the textures. Like a little whipped cream, you know? Three out of five? Yeah, because it's obviously delicious, but mm -hmm. Hershey's. Like, you're the number one chocolate company. Why can't I taste chocolate in the chocolate ploy? Ah! If anyone works at Hershey's, like, I'm picturing, this is what I'm picturing right now. A 23-year-old girl works on the social media team at Hershey's. Can we please get a tour of the factory? Oh, I mean, not after what we just said. Oh, we'll cut this out if you want, before you show your bosses or whatever. I, we'll, like, do a whole video, like, you don't have to pay us anything. Oh, yeah, do a whole video saying, um, I love Hershey's! Um, 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 the video would be titled, Our Apology. <laughs> Well, we did it. We tried basically the whole menu, if we're being honest. So do you agree with those videos that are saying it's so disgusting? Hmm. Here's my thing. I actually think the food's good. I don't mm -hmm. think the food's bad. I, I want that to be yeah. clear. But the reason why I understand why it has such a bad rep is because when you think of seafood, but I'm just gonna assume you think this, trying to force my opinions onto you guys. Basically, when I think of seafood, I think, oh, that's more expensive than other types of proteins. So then it's like, it costs the same as like a McDonald's sandwich. Then in my brain, it's like, how is this fish yeah, that's why I understand why it doesn't do good. I understand why it doesn't do good. That's all I can say. Like, yeah. but it tastes good. And I do gotta say, it is prime dinner time, and literally no one's here, really. There was people going through that. Like, one at a time, though. Yeah. But honestly, I hope Long John Silver's has a comeback. Like, that yeah. would be my biggest dream. Yeah, I have faith in the company, and I the fish tacos are good, so, like, go down that route. I have a tip. If you want to have a blow-up, do vegan fish. Oh. I have never seen vegan fish, I don't think, so that'd be cool as fuck. Or a fish burrito. That too. I agree with everything you said. Like, I get why it's gross, and I do think it's gross, but it was good at the end of the day. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, let's just go. All right, bye. Bye.